no idea the kind of pressure I felt to take things to the next level. Things were moving so fast. I was basically the only person in the freshman class who hadn't done it yet. So we did. I loved him. I thought she loved me. My health class had CPR at school. I stayed after class to talk with the instructor about it. They showed me that it didn't have to be that way. They showed me that I get to make my own choices. There is another way. That's the best thing CPR gives you. Another way. A better way. A healthy way. Sometimes you don't see it because you're in your own world. But they don't make you feel bad. They talk to you like a real person. And they save kids from really unhealthy decisions. They tell the truth and they know what they're talking about. So yeah, my life was different. I started to choose the better way. I honestly don't know where I'd be or what I'd be doing had it not been for CPR. You want a career that creates experiences that are impossible to forget. By studying sports and events at IUPUI, you'll get hands-on experience in and out of the classroom. And with Indy as your classroom, there are high-profile events, sports franchises, hotels, museums, and large organizations across the city to engage, educate, and enlighten your student journey before you graduate. There isn't a better city than Indianapolis to get the experience you need to prepare you to handle any event, big or small. It all starts here. High school sports fans, welcome back to game time, to pure spirit, to pure sport. Welcome back to high school sports. Fans, I'm IHSA Commissioner Paul Knighty, and I just want to say, welcome back. This is game time. This is Indiana high school sports. This is your IHSAA. You want a career that will transform your life while you change the lives of others by helping them live well. With a health or exercise sciences degree from IUPUI School of Health and Human Sciences, you will gain an in-depth understanding of the healthcare industry while preparing you for a variety of graduate and professional programs in health. And with Indy as your classroom, you will have clinical options within leading hospitals right in our backyard, as well as a degree from Indiana University, reputable leaders in the healthcare industry. It all starts here. Can't get to a computer? Then we've got you covered. Just go to the Indiana SRN app and stay up to date with all of your favorite teams. You can watch live coverage or relive the experience with our on-demand service. After the Marine Corps, I was diagnosed with PTSD and became homeless for 15 years. Like a hermit living on the street, I just existed. I came to Willow Mission. Wheeler operates on a culture of kindness. Going through their programs reminded me that my meaning in life is to serve God. God set me free from anxiety and depression. Before Wheeler, I just existed, but today I live. Sprinkles if you got them. Jack's Donuts, find a location near you now. Hey, Conductor, how about something new? You played this last year. Come on, get your head out of your sacks. Shh, we're trying to hear. Well, I'm sick and tired of hearing your kid play the wrong notes. Where's my kid solo? At least you can see your kid. Why is my kid stuck way in the back? The conductor only plays his favorite. Woo! I can't hurt that solo! You see him like it? Yeah, Come on. 
These guys are fired up. Our crew is fired up. Game one's coming your way next. Good evening, everyone. Welcome to Park Tudor High School as we bring you high school basketball on a Tuesday night. Park Tudor coming into this one at 12 and 7. They'll be hosting Horizon Christian. They're at 14 and 10, but they've won seven out of their last nine games. Tonight's game brought to you in part by IUPUI School of Health and Human Sciences. Begin your journey today. The Morales Group, building better futures one story at a time. Burton Electric, serving greater Indianapolis and the surrounding counties. Piper Logistics, from warehousing to transportation, we do it all. And by Reynolds Farm Equipment, serving our customers and the community since 1955. Great to have you with us. We're down to the last couple of weeks of the boys' high school basketball season. Troy Darangowski, John Lester with you here tonight. And this is a great gym. I love this gym from a shooting standpoint. It should be a good one tonight because it's so bright and a great place to play high school basketball. And, John, we have seen both these teams this year. It's been a while since I've seen this Horizon Christian team, but they've won seven of nine, and they're just, what, one game away from their tournament? Yeah, they're one game away before their season or their tournament starts. And Park Tour, as you mentioned, we're just two weeks away. We're a week from Sunday is actually the sectional draw for boys basketball. So we're getting down the nitty-gritty here, Troy. And like you, I'm expecting to see a very good game here between these two very good teams here tonight. Well, I have to go back to Horizon Christian. I think they all had only eight games in their schedule when I broadcast their last game, they ended up winning that game, which was good news for them. Now they turn and lost to that team a little bit later, as you mentioned to me moments ago. But they can be very dangerous, and one thing Park Tudor can't do tonight is take them too lightly. No, not at all. Like that, that game we were mentioning against a very good team out of Louisville, that was a team that averaged 90 points a game, even though they didn't win that game. Heritage Christian held them, or Horizon Christian, I'm sorry, held them to 48 in that game. So if they can get that kind of defensive effort against this Park Tudor team tonight, uh, this should be a good one. All right, talk a little bit about Horizon Christian. Jalen Posey, their head coach. Again, he really has them playing very well right now. And, of course, when you think about Brody Matthews, their 6'5 junior and what he's been able to do this year, he's the team's leading scorer. But talk about some of their other personnel. Yeah, Troy Page as well. It gets you a double-figure score there for Horizon Christian. So I'm anxious to see him and Matthews. And I'm anxious to see how Park Tudor plays and see if they throw a little bit of alternating defenses around to try and hold the Matthews and Page down in this game here tonight. You know, what's interesting, when we saw Page earlier this year, he's only a eighth grader and so he's playing up against these high school kids and he's really doing very well and it makes you wonder if he's doing all this in eighth grade average or an eighth grader averaging double digits a game what he's going to be when he gets to actually be at the high school level yeah. how good of a player you're going to see him here later on in his career well when you talk about the panthers it really does surround their key player and that's jermaine coleman the senior at six seven then this guy's going to purdue fort wayne we have seen him do some really interesting things this year around the basket, but he can also step out and shoot the three. Yes, he uh, and he can also assist the ball as well. He is a very good disher as well for Park Tudor, and yeah, great athletes on this team, and last time I saw Park Tudor was that outstanding game against Bethesda Christian, so we hope to see a good one here tonight, and I'm anxious to see um, this, and they've got a deep bench as well. That's going to be yeah. one of the things to keep in mind tonight. They go a lot deeper than Horizon Christian. We'll see if that comes into play as well. Yeah, Park Tudor, by the way, I should have mentioned they've won six out of their last eight, but they lost to a good unit university team in their last contest in tournament play 66 to 57 so they've got some things to do to get ready for the upcoming tournament but they're going to be very very good and Tim Adams has a team that has a lot of athletes on this squad yeah definitely yeah Park Tudor you know and even your those benchers on this Park Tudor team could definitely be starters at another school so yeah very athletic very very and they're a little bit more physical than Horizon Christian as well yeah. so we'll see how come that comes into play Horizon Christian being not very deep can't afford to get into foul trouble tonight we'll, we'll see Jermaine Coleman of course Ben Wilkerson their their guard who is very very good and then of course 
Hudson Horvath is another guy, just a sophomore, that is very, very good for this Park Tudor team. We will come back. Tip-off is coming up in a moment right here on Indiana SRN. From warehousing to transportation and everything in between, Piper Logistics does it all. Centrally located, Piper Logistics has two warehouses in Indianapolis and a warehouse in Cincinnati, Ohio. Piper Logistics houses over 1 million square feet. Along with our transportation department, we can provide service to half the United States markets. We encourage you to subscribe to our YouTube channel, Indiana SRN. Hit the bell to get notifications for upcoming games and more. Watch as many games as you want, as many times as you want. You want a career that creates experiences that are impossible to forget. By studying sports and events at IUPUI, you'll get hands-on experience in and out of the classroom. And with Indy as your classroom, there are high-profile events, sports franchises, hotels, museums, and large organizations across the city to engage, educate, and enlighten your student journey before you graduate. There isn't a better city than Indianapolis to get the experience you need to prepare you to handle any event, big or small. It all starts here. This is the Frells family's land. When the sun comes out, the kids run and play right there. This used to be a shed. Now, it's where they get breakfast. This is more than just land. It's home. The Frells family runs with us on a John Deere 1 Series tractor. This land isn't the only thing that should live on for generations. Nothing runs like a deer. Search John Deere 1 Series for more. Visit Reynolds Farm Equipment, your hometown John Deere dealer today at ReynoldsFarmEquipment.com. At Morales Group Staffing, we are all about building better futures. And during these times, we are working hard to put people to work. We are now hiring for hundreds of jobs with pay up to $17 an hour. Visit our website at moralesgroup.net or text JOBS, J-O-B-S, to 317-472-7600 to apply now and get hired today. We encourage you to follow us on Twitter, at IndianaSRN. Find upcoming games, video highlights, and much more. Follow us now, at IndianaSRN. Back once again here at Park Tudor. Panthers at 12 and 7. Horizon Christian at 14 and 10. They'll be playing their final game of the regular season tonight. We... Had the starting lineups here a little bit ago, and we're still waiting to see if we can confirm it for Horizon Christian. We do know that Ethan May is starting tonight, number one, a 5'8 junior. Landon Loring, number two, a 5'8 freshman. Trey Page, the eighth grader, is going to start. He is 5'11", he is in eighth grade. But we're waiting to see. Israel Miles was announced a little bit ago, 5'11", and a junior. We thought it was going to be Brody Matthews, but then I thought I heard Quinn Yoder getting the start. We'll wait and see here in a moment. Yeah, which would be very interesting because Matthews is uh, Horizon Christian's leading scorer here, so Coach shaking things up here a little bit in the starting lineup. Ben Wilkerson getting the start tonight for Park Tudor along with Jermaine Coleman, Thomas Ruffin, Kamen Washington, and Hudson Horvath, and we're ready to go. And You see number 10 right there. That is Jermaine Coleman, and he could be a force tonight because of the, his ability to round the basket and shoot it from the outside. I believe Israel Miles is actually wearing number five. He is not number eight like he originally had before. So that is Israel Miles. So he is in the starting lineup. It looks like it is Yoder jumping center. Yeah. So uh, no word on uh, Braden Matthews. Maybe, he's good. Maybe he'll just come off the bench tonight. Tip will be won by Park Tudor. We're underway. And looks like a zone defense to begin here for Horizon Christian. Well, they're going to be outsized here, especially look at Coleman. Now, he doesn't do that very often, but he's got a heck of a size advantage underneath. The kick out, the three on the way, nothing but net for Hudson Horvath. The sophomore gets an early start. Yeah, great touch there by Horvath. Great find there by Coleman to find him for the open three outside. Well, John, the one thing about it is if they're going to use Coleman down there low and there's a turnover, that does propose some issues as a fast break the other way. Basket good and Horvath has a quick five because if you don't get help him down low, he's going to score a lot of points. And if you do, 
then the bottom line is you're going to leave guys open out front. Yeah, right, and yeah, that's going to be very important for Horizon Christian to hold them down anyway. They can't have got a nice three there by Trey Page there to begin the game for Horizon Christian here. Yeah, Page, by the and way, just a eighth grader. The turnover and the layup missed it the other end by Page. The putback no good by Loring, and it'll be Panther basketball. We'll, we'll keep it on Coleman. Now he's out here at the three-point line, but the shot inside is good by Wilkerson. We got a fast start here within the first minute and 15. We have eight points. Yeah, and you're seeing Coleman get active on the other. There's a turnover for Horizon Christian. That's one thing they're not going to be able to afford. They're going to have to protect the basketball here tonight against the part, this Park Tudor team. Horizon Christian off wins over Columbus Christian, 68-46. They beat Tabernacle Christian as well, 72-43. Their last two games we'd mentioned earlier in the pregame that Park Tudor had lost to University 66-57. That is Coleman. It's time to work outside left. There's a left-hand three on the way. Missed it. And the rebound pulled down by Yoder. Well, I'm curious to kind of figure out why Braden Matthews did not start tonight. Doesn't mean he won't play, but there's a drive down the lane. Bucket good. That's a strong basket right there. Yeah, Israel Miles. Israel Miles there with the nice move there. And Horizon Christian hanging in here early against this Park Tudor team. By the way, he took that right at Jermaine Coleman at 6'7". That is Coleman way out front. He'll shoot it from there. We've seen him do that before. Wilkerson, fadeaway jumper, good. This Wilkerson has a great touch, great shooting stroke for Wilkerson. He has four. 5'10", junior. Ball loose on the sideline, and that's going to be another turnover. Already three for Horizon Christian. If I'm not mistaken, you and I, when we did that game before, that was a thing that Horizon Christian did a lot, and that was turn the ball over. Turn the ball over, yeah. They only averaged 16 a game, but, yeah, unfortunately, in that game against Beth Haven, they had over 20 turnovers in that game, and only, if unfortunately, here starting off with three here. Washington gave it off near side to Ruffin. And you see how spread out there, and almost a five-out offense. Wilkerson got away with a push, shot no good, rebound May. I'm impressed with the defense for Horizon Christian against this Park Tudor team so far. You know, what we've only seen again so far, Coleman go down inside one time. There's the fourth turnover. Fast break back the other way. And the layup good, and a good start for Horvath. He has seven. Yeah, Horvath getting underneath there. <laughs> Gets down underneath for the easy layup there. It's nothing you can do about that, and there's going to be another, another close. <laughs> well, and that's the one thing Park Tudor wants to do. They'd love to get out and run. And we talked about their athletes, and if they can get in a fast break situation, they'll go. Yoder, baseline drive, floater no. And it'll be Park Tudor basketball, the rebound there by Ruffin. This time Coleman down low, but Ruffin takes it right at his defender, and the short jumper good. Yeah, hot start here for Park Tudor. I've got them five for their first six from the floor. They'll take it. Yeah. I would take it. 83%, yeah. <laughs> I might still be coaching if my team could have shot like that. we got a foul, our first foul of the ball game, and that'll go against Horvath. That'll be his first. Horvath seven points, Wilkerson with four. Coleman has yet to score. And, boy, that was a near turnover. Landon <laughs> Loring able to get it out front. Pass inside to Yoder, left hand blocked there by Coleman. Ball loose and the fifth turnover of the ball game. Panthers quickly back the other way. They waste no time. Pull up shot is on the way, good. Tell you what, Wilkerson, as you said a little bit ago, he can shoot, Horvath can shoot as well. Yeah, they got some shooters on this Park Tudor team and they're gonna be a tough out once sectional play gets here. Shot in the corners missed. As Page can't get it to go, Panthers back the other way. The drive down the lane, and we'll go to the line for two. Looks like they ended up getting Israel Miles on the foul. And here is Hudson Horvath at the line. Not a big crowd here tonight on a Tuesday night as we begin to wind down the boys basketball season. Here's that drive there by Horvath, drawing the contact there, almost getting the end one opportunity. You know, if he used the glass, he might have done it. Might have, yeah. yeah. 
Second free throw is on the way and good. And now you have all of a sudden your biggest lead of the ball game continues to build here in this opening period of play. Well, if Horizon's going to stay in this ball game, they're going to have to find a way to stop 17 points a quarter. Yeah, yeah, that's <laughs> they only give up 53, or I'm sorry, 58 a game. So Partridge are already at 17. <laughs> Pull up jumper, no good by Israel Miles. The ball goes out of bounds. They'll say that Jermaine Coleman touched it last. There is a distinct size advantage right now for Park Tudor. Horizon Christian, if Brody, Braden Matthews or Brody Matthews were playing, they're 6'4 and 6'5, but there's a kick ball by Wilkerson, but they just don't have a ton of size. Yeah, yeah, definitely a definite size advantage here for Park Tudor, and they're taking advantage of that so far. So it will be Horizon Christian basketball in the inbound. Here's Page. The three-pointer is no good. He was way off the mark there. Coleman able to pull down the rebound. He'll take it himself. The drive of the left hand, good. Yeah, great move there by Coleman. Horizon Christian may need a timeout here trying to settle the guys down here. That is now the fourth player to score for the Panthers. Now they're going to press right here and a foul call against Park Tudor. Though head coach Tim Adams didn't like that call very much. I think they're going to get Washington on that, I believe. That'll be Washington's first foul of the ball game, only the second foul so far. After a brief stoppage of play, it'll be Horizon Christian basketball and a near steal there by Washington. Let's take another look. As Braden Matthews coming in the lineup. Yeah, great block there. You were talking about that size advantage Park Tudor has, and it showed right there, Coleman. So Braden Matthews is in. A 6'4 junior. We haven't seen Brody yet. We haven't heard of anything from an injury standpoint, anything like that. And that is over and back. And that's turnover number six. You know, we, we listen, basketball is a pretty easy game. And the one thing you don't want to do, John, is give the other team more opportunities. And you've already now given Park Tudor six extras. That's what we were talking about in the first time we covered Horizon Christian, giving that many teams that many extra possessions. Drive baseline and some contact in the ball game. Now for Park Tudor for the first time tonight is Cal Bostic. Cal is a 6'5 sophomore. So he will go to the line for two shots and a chance here for now five players getting in the scoring column here for Park Tudor. Well, I would imagine that for Horizon when this game was scheduled, they probably thought, you know what, let's play somebody really good before we go into the tournament, kind of find out where we are. Because when you play, then somebody else says Israel Miles will be fouled in the ball game. KJ Mark, number 24 there for Park Tudor. I, the point I guess I'm trying to make is the game's going to slow down a little bit against some of the other teams that Horizon's going to play. Yeah, here's that nice drive there. And yeah, it's and it's, I think it's very important, like you mentioned, drill the toward the end of your season. That way going into postseason play, you'll have an experience against a I wouldn't say a bigger team, and that'll give you experience going forward and hopefully make a deep run in your tournament. First free throw missed there by Israel Miles. He's a 5'11 junior. He's a young man that's had plenty of varsity experience for Horizon Christian. He'll get one of two. He has three. Page has three. The lead at 15. Washington now working the point. Got that screen, then drives down the lane. Scoop shot good. And Came in Washington on the board. And you're seeing that size advantage. Hell, Park Tudor's taking advantage of that size advantage here, getting all these inside shots. That's now six different players who have scored, and there is the seventh turnover. Lead pass, drive, layup good at the other end, and that's about as easy as it will get for Washington. And we're going to get a time. Oh, nope, it's going to be actually a turnover here by Horizon Christian. That'll be number eight. I thought they were going to get a timeout right there. Yeah, turnover on the inbound there. Never what you want to see for a coach. We see Paige back in here. Well, and those are the unforced ones where you're just like, now nah, we can't be doing that. Yeah. You know, it's not even a hustle play to be made. Keelan Smith has come in now for Park Tudor. He wears number one. He's just a freshman. This is Coleman. Three-pointer on the way. No. 
High for the rebound. That was Smith. Put back, missed it. Rebound, no, by Horvath. They had three chances. Yeah, unable to come down there, but three chances at the basket. Again, that size advantage. Israel in the lane, good. Israel Miles now has five. Now a 17-point lead here in the opening period of play. And, you know, I'm kind of go back to what I said a little bit ago. It's going to be hard to win a game if you're giving up 25 points in a quarter. But it's been a good start here for Park Tudor. There's a long-range three. Wow. Coleman said, you know what? I was too close, so I stepped back to get that one. Step back and, yes, <laughs> shot that one from the parking lot. Maybe that's where he needs <laughs> uh, You know, the, this game of basketball has changed so much over the years as K.J. Mark, I believe, just picked up number two. We're we'll take another look at that three-pointer, though. This game has changed so much. You've got guys that are... Six seven, six eight, six nine. That are shooting three pointers like they they've done it their whole life, which they probably have. But you go back twenty years ago, that would never have happened. No, you would never see that back in those days, Jack. Well, and the other thing is, we got a three here by Page. It's good. The eighth grader, his second three pointer. I remind of those old Boston Celtics teams. You would never see Robert Parrish back no, there shooting a no, three-pointer. No, you would not, or Kevin McHale. <laughs> yeah. yeah, but the thing is, too, you look at the offenses now. Everybody's five out and nobody in, or they're four out, one in, as that's the miss by Horvath. Rebound inside, stripped away, put back no, as Smith couldn't get it to go, goes out of bounds, it'll go over to Horizon Christian. But you look, everything is out here, out around the perimeter, and I, I think I've counted three three-second calls this entire season of all the games I've done, because there's nobody down there anymore. Because nobody, right, that's exactly right, yeah, it's... 18 seconds remaining. And it's developed in there in the college game as well. You'll yeah. see these three points. It's nothing but a three-point for some of these teams. It's three-point or nothing. It's, you know, yeah, and in the NBA, you hear about them not shooting 24 threes. They make 24 threes. Four seconds. Miles on the drive. And I believe we're going to have a reaching foul here on Park Tudor. I think they got Keelan Smith. Yeah, I think so, yeah. So that will be his first. That is five fouls on Park Tudor. So. so they're getting close now to Horizon Christian shooting the bonus. The inbound Matthews no at the buzzer. After one, Park Tudor leads it by 17. We really focus on modern application development, DevOps, so automating the whole process of delivering your solution and cloud architecture is very important uh, for large, mid to large companies to have cloud partners because you can't possibly have all the talent you need to address the complex ecosystem of the cloud. We advise them on all parts of their business. And then when things are defined and we see a clear goal, CleanSlate also then goes and does the work. We have a team that is very passionate about what they do. We love to solve complex problems, and there's a lot of companies out there that will avoid, you know, getting involved in those things, and I think that's why clients like to work with us. Tonight's game brought to you in part by Industrial Sales Associates. They've been an electromechanical component manufacturer's representative for Illinois, Indiana, Kentucky, Ohio, Michigan, and Eastern Tennessee for years. Good luck to all the teams during this winter sports season. For more information, contact them at 317-546-1900. John Lester, I think that first quarter, if you're Horizon, you got to find a way now to get a lot of stops. Yeah, and you're going to have to protect the ball. Eight turnovers in a quarter isn't going to win you a whole lot of ball games, unfortunately. Yeah. <laughs> and, you know, they're going to have to protect the ball here. Let's see what they do here as they get the first possession here in the second quarter. Mark Tudor in that very stiff man-to-man, -man, and we've got a foul call, and I believe that may be Keelan Smith getting his second. So they're starting to build up a couple of fouls here as he has two, Mark has two. Yeah, every foul from here on out is going to put Horizon Christian at the line here for the remainder of the first half is here is that drive and the foul committed mm. there by Smith. Tough call there. I think I just fell down, don't you? <laughs> by the way, Wilkerson back in. Ooh, that was really close because he caught that ball <laughs> in the front court. Not quite how it's supposed to work. Here's a three on the way at the top. Good. That'll be Landon Loring. 
Good start to the second quarter here. We got a 30 second timeout right here to remind you as well that tonight's game brought to you in part by Aspen Creek Grill. If you feel like treating someone special to a delicious meal, how about Aspen Creek Grill? Next time coming for dinner, John, don't forget, buy me some gift cards to share with my friends. Aspen Creek Grill has great food. Try that powwow shrimp. Aspen Creek located in Noblesville. Which I have still never tried yet. <laughs> you haven't? I have not. <laughs> that kind of money you make at FedEx, you ought to... <laughs> here's you're the, not up there. Here's that three-pointer there <laughs> from Landon Borey. <laughs> you didn't think I'd slip that in so early, did you? <laughs> I noticed you brought your Mercedes up this time and, and drove it here. Instead. They let me borrow it today. Oh, oh that, yeah, they it, let yeah. me. Yeah, that's, <laughs> that's nice of FedEx. <laughs> so after that brief timeout, the lead at 14 here for Park Tudor. They got Wilkerson back in there pretty quick after Smith picked up his second foul. Coleman stays in the ball game. He's working that low block, and they go immediately to him. He's got that left hand, and that's going to be tough to stop right there. It, you know, the one thing about him is if he would just take one dribble and go with the left hand, I don't think they're going to block it. No, not at all. Yeah, with that size advantage, yeah, well, Coleman's going to see you're going to see a lot of him inside tonight. Huh? Seven points now for Coleman as you take a look at Loring on the drive. Here is the shot by Matthews, no good, and the rebound, it'll be Park Tudor basketball. Quickly down the floor, and that's gonna be Drew DeFrance in the ball game who missed the layup. Park Tudor able to get it back. Three-pointer, right side, good. There is Washington, he has seven. Yeah, Washington got open in the corner, the three-pointer, and Park Tudor just like that, five straight out of the timeout. That's their third three-pointer. And another foul on Park Tudor, and we're going to go to the free throw line already. They will get Drew DeFrance for his first, and that will put Israel Miles, who, by the way, earlier this year was wearing number eight. He is now wearing number five. And this will be a one in bonus. He's one for two tonight. Horizon only a 63% free throw shooting team coming in, so it's an area I'm sure a little bit of concern as they get ready for tournament play. Their field goal percentage is at 44, and they're only shooting at 26% from three-point range. So some areas of concern to go when you think about the tournament coming up. You certainly want to have a little better numbers than that. They're going to find out here very, very soon as they play tonight their 25th game. Basketball season always just flies by every yeah. every year. It seems like we just started, and here we are at tournament time. Coleman missed it. Battle for the rebound brought down there by Yoder. Yeah, you get into February, and, of course, you don't play as many games. You have a tendency to play a heavy schedule in December and January, but then your thought process, you don't practice as much as Miles misses that one. Rebound by Washington, but you got to have some legs for tournament time, too. Yeah, absolutely, and with tournament time coming up for the boys, that probably means some bad weather again. Of course. it seems like every time we hit, yeah. yeah of <laughs> course. Here's a fadeaway jumper good right side by DeFrance. But we've gotten, I think, pretty lucky so far. I know we had a little bad weather at the beginning of the girls' sectional, but they've kind of sailed through, and now they're ready for semi-state coming up on Saturday, and we, of course, will have the Shelbyville semi-state, as that's going to be a turnover. That's number nine now, and officially for Horizon. I believe you're going to be out there, are you not, at Shelbyville this we'll weekend? We'll be there, so, yeah. yeah. Saturday morning, 10 and, I think, noon, and then, of course, the championship game is at 8, as you see the DeFrance jump shot. We don't see many pull-up jumpers, though. That's the, the problem I always have. Here is the three on the way good. But if you can do that, that's Thomas Ruffin. Why do he need a two if you can have a three? <laughs> yeah, just like that, Park Tudor's built up their largest lead of the game here. Yeah, lead at 22. How about Wilkerson going on the floor? A jump ball is called, and the possession arrow will go over to Park Tudor. So you lose a possession. So we can throw that in the turnover category if you'd like to. We've got that as 10 now for Horizon Christian this half. Now, Coleman working the point. We mentioned he's going to Purdue-Fort Wayne 
play college basketball. The Mastodons. I like that name. Coleman rising over the defender. Missed it. Rebound Washington. Here's another three. A fadeaway no as that was missed by Ruffin. He was kind of off balance when he shot that one. Horizon Christian. Here's Loring on the drive. Kick out. Shot on the way. Three-pointer good. Good touch there by, I believe it was Trey Page, I believe. Yep, I his third three-pointer. So he got the start today, and he's got nine points here. Well, they're missing, as we said, their leading score. Here's a three. That's an air ball. I saw that come out of his hand, and it'll be picked up there by Yoder. Nice hustle there by Yoder, grabbing that rebound. Bostic might want to let somebody else shoot the three, and we've got a foul against... He may go against Israel Miles. Yep. So Miles just picked up his second. He lost the basketball, and then he reached in and fouled, so you're technically looking at their 11th turnover. And we've got a timeout on the floor. Park Tudor leads it 38-19. From warehousing to transportation and everything in between, Piper Logistics does it all. Centrally located, Piper Logistics has two warehouses in Indianapolis and a warehouse in Cincinnati, Ohio. Piper Logistics houses over 1 million square feet. Along with our transportation department, we can provide service to half the United States markets. Can't get to a computer? Then we've got you covered. Just go to the Indiana SRN app and stay up to date with all of your favorite teams. You can watch live coverage or relive the experience with our on-demand service. Tonight's game brought to you in part by RefReps. They're designed in partnership with numerous state high school associations, helping officials to hone their skills and promote unity in the officiating world. RefReps is for the new official and the seasoned veteran. Contact them at refreps.com. It'll be Park Tudor basketball. After that full timeout, Park Tudor. Trying to dominate here in this second quarter. Spin to the baseline, block from behind, but a foul that'll put Cal Bostic at the line for two. That's one of those fouls you don't mind if you're Horizon Christian. You know, if the Bostic probably would have had an easy layup there, so you're going to make him earn him from the line here. Ethan May picked up the foul. There's that drive there. Well, and that's tough there for Braden Matthews. Now, they list Braden Matthews at 6'4", and Cal Bostic at 6'5", but it looks like to me that Bostic might be a little bit bigger than 6-5. He missed the first one as Bostic now 2 of 3, and he missed the second. Nice and play. Yeah, how about Yoder? <laughs> Threw it off the leg there of Washington. It goes out of bounds. Great heads-up play there by Yoder to keep the possession alive for Horizon. In the ball game, Hudson Horvath once again. A little bit of press here. Yeah. <laughs> And Landon Loring turned it over, and the layup good. There's Wilkerson. He has eight. Twelve turnovers. I have a feeling maybe Tim Adams, the head coach, is saying, yeah, I'm getting a little tired of this, but there's a floater good by Yoder. Yoder won those. Oh, it looked like he just kind of threw it up there, and it went in the basket there for Horizon. Be able to break the press that time down. You know, sometimes as a coach, I know it's a 19-point lead, but you kind of feel like we ought to be beating them worse than this. So you tell your players, we're going to go out there and we're going to go at them. As that three-pointer's missed, and it goes out of bounds. Horvath unable to get it. But you're trying to get your team going a little bit, too. You're, I know they have 40, and you say, well, how can they be playing poorly at 40? And they're not. It's just that maybe the energy isn't there where you want it. Yeah, right, and that's where, and here's another press again here for Park Tudor. Horizon able to break it this time. Here's Loring, sets up for three, got another one. Well, they can't stop him either. He has six. They have more three-pointers than they have anything else combined. Nice, nice little run here put together by Horizon Christian. Coleman can't get it to go. He'll go to the line. I believe Miles just got his third foul. And that's big. Yeah, that's really big. You lose Israel Miles and his ability to handle the basketball. 
And with not being deep anyway for Horizon Christian, now you're losing one of your big players here, which I'm assuming for the rest of the half. Well, let's see how the coach is going to play this as Coleman gets his first free throw of the night. Yeah, and in, in Israel's defense, there's not much you can do right there as Trey Page comes back in. I mean, Israel is about 5'11", maybe. And then you have Coleman at 6'7". He's got those long arms. How do you guard that? So here is the second one by Coleman. I'll be curious to see how they use him at Purdue-Fort Wayne, a stretch four probably, my guess. Can't be a power forward. He's too skinny. Right. <laughs> Quick pass inside. Another turnover. Here come the Panthers back the other way. Strong drive, and that'll put K.J. Mark at the line. Well, we saw fouls early on Park Tudor. Now we're seeing the fouls start to add up a little bit here for Horizon Christian. There's that drive there by Mark getting the foul and getting two free throws. KG. That's another thing we were talking about big men earlier. That's another thing you just don't see in the game anymore is a center. Yeah. It's, a, it's always three guards, or you just don't see the center anymore, and that's a position that I think – I thought that was one of the most important positions on a basketball court. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, they, this game has changed a lot. Second free throw good, except for Zach Eady at Purdue. I mean, there's a couple <laughs> others out there, but they don't play that traditional center position yeah. with your back to the basket. How about that shot missed by May? One and done. Panthers trying to run the fast break there. The lead pass will be knocked out of bounds on the return. Thomas Ruffin able to save that one from going out of bounds. Yeah, you don't have the Kareem Abdul-Jabbar's, you know, guys, Bill Russell, Wilt Chamberlain anymore, Shaq, if you want to go a little bit more modern. But it'll, it'll be like anything else, be like that cheap suit you wear that it'll be back sooner or later. <laughs> So don't, don't throw it away. Foul's going to be on Trey Page. Dwight Howard, yeah. He's still playing somewhere overseas in Japan, Yeah, I, I think he's, what, 65 by now? Years he is, old, yeah. I think. Yeah, <laughs> yeah he is. He's, he's up there. So Coleman misses the front end of the one-and-one. One. Still a 20-point lead. Here's another three on the way. I'll tell you what, Trey Page. That is his 4-3 pointer. Yeah, I'm impressed by what I'm seeing for Page trying to keep Horizon Christian in this ball game here in the first half. Well, if I'm Park Tudor, I don't let him see the light of day now because he's the one guy that's really hurting you the most. I'd stick somebody on him, and he would earn every bit of it. There's a drive and another foul, and we're going to go back to the line again. They got Ethan May for his second. Horizon is going to be in trouble here pretty soon, and... They may have to find themselves in a zone before you know it. Here is Washington. There's that play there. Washington drawing that foul against May. You know, Horizon Christian, their players should watch, watch Clark Chapin because Clark would have taken a charge right there <laughs> and been the BMOC, the big man on campus. Here is Paige back in. Yes, Clark Chafin took out my alma mater back in the high school, back in. And you still hold that against him. I do, you? yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I can kind of tell there's some animosity right there. Good defense. Clark and his Edgewood Mustangs. The <laughs> Edgewood Mustangs. Of course, I've never heard of anybody taking a charge in an all-star game until Clark did, so he's got the vote as an all-star for me for sure. There's another turnover. Here come the Panthers back once again. Good look there at Ruffin. Ruffin a little bit too much dribbling that time. Shoots and misses. The offense rebound missed as Keelan Smith couldn't get it to go. Sometimes you can dribble that orange thing a little bit too much. Yeah, it was a little out of control there. <laughs> There's another three this time. Loring can't get it to go. And quickly, Park Tudor back down the other way. And missing the layup will be K.J. Mark. I think he thought that the young man was going to step in and take the charge. The Ural step blocked from behind, and here we go the other way. 
Two on one break now. The handoff and the layup good at the other end by Horvath. Yeah, that's where we're talking about that size advantage underneath there for Park Tudor getting that block. That was a nice Euro step yeah. though. A little give and go as Horizon gets it back outside. The three off the mark this time by Page. Here come the Panthers again and the lead pass in and out of the hands. Uh, Ruffin, second turnover, I do believe, against Park Tudor. Yeah, only two turnovers in the first half for Park Tudor. 7.5 here before we end this first half. Have to work quickly as May checks the clock. Three seconds to go. The drive by Yoder, and Yoder could not get the roll, and we have made it to halftime. Park Tudor putting up 48 points in the first half. And Horizon Christian has a lot of work to do to get back into this ball game, but they built up some fouls too. That might be, you know, you talk about the turnovers, 14. Israel Miles has three, Ethan May has two. And no matter how you look at it, you have a tendency not to play as aggressive defensively when you're in foul trouble. When you're in foul trouble, yeah. And I'm going to be anxious to see if they bring out Israel Miles to start here this third quarter here with the three personal fouls and for Horizon Christian. Well, they may not have a whole lot of choice if they continue to fall behind the way they are. But look at this block right here. Yeah, great verticality there on that block for Kalon Smith for Park Tudor. All right, we will take a timeout. Park Tudor leads it at halftime, 48-26. Bertner Electric Incorporated has been proudly serving our residential and commercial customers with quality electrical repair for over 33 years. We are fully licensed and insured in electrical wiring and electrician service packages. You'll receive a competitive assessment, whether you're a homeowner or a business owner, first time or long time customer. We offer free estimates for any new project. Call our licensed and experienced electricians today. We need your help so the youth of our community can develop advanced leadership skills. We need your help giving high school administrators and coaches the instruction and insight they need to be better role models and teachers. To learn more or to make a tax-deductible contribution, go to IHSAAFoundation.org. You'll not only be contributing to the foundation of the IHSAA, you'll be contributing to the foundation of our community. These last two years at Horizon has just really shown how much I can grow spiritually and how much I have to offer to other people. I love the teachers. You can tell they really care. And if you're going through something, they'll pray for you. When you think of Horizon, it's not like, oh, that's this is my school, these are my friends. You kind of think of it as, wow, this is my family. Like, I can go to these people about anything. I feel so comfortable just going into my, my math teacher's room or my English teacher's room and asking for any sort of help. I've never hesitated. As soon as I stepped on this on this campus, I feel like felt something special. Like to teachers, it's not just a job; it's like more of a relationship. I'm teaching at Horizon because of the ministry that took place in the lives of my children. The way that our staff ministers to each child is what makes us different. There's story after story of of families that have come and, and have never before felt like there was a staff that really cared about their children, is willing to do whatever was necessary to have their children there and to minister to them. The staff members were kind of a family, but that carries over in the way that we care on and we love for the students. My goal is that they come through those doors and they know that they are loved and they're accepted for who they are. And of course, we're gonna learn our academic parts. But if I can get one of those kids to know the love of Jesus and be able to be strong about that and have a passion for it, then that's what my job is. Horizon is amazing. We walked into the school and Cassidy said, Mom, this is where I'm supposed to be. We've created an environment that, because we're smaller, 
We know every child by name, and we have the opportunity to work with them, in many cases one-on-one, -on -one, and meet their individual needs. I love being able to go to Bible class and Mr. Foxworthy being able to keep everybody intact and be funny at the same exact time. I can honestly say every single one of the teachers like invest and care about your life, but the most important thing they care about is your faith and making sure that is strong. The spiritual development is more important than the math. We're going to make sure we get through the math and we will get there, but we're not going to uh, make it take a backseat to any spiritual development that comes up during the day. I can't imagine teaching without bringing Christ into it. I can't. I can't imagine. Ever. I think about my day and just about everything we do, the choices we make, the things that we talk about involve Christ. Kids will come in from different schools and they get it. They see people who are real and genuine. No pretense. Like, I just want you to know the Lord. That's it. I want you to know Jesus. Horizon has really prepared me to just grow in Him and to seek Him and everything and to live out my Christian faith. I know that I'm going into my future with things that'll last eternally, not just in education, which is still important, and we do get a lot of that, but things that are going to last eternally. With my kids coming here, this light that, I, that is in them, I have not seen it in years. I see that excitement come back in his life, and that's very important to me. We visited some other schools that had excellent academics, but we just didn't feel like it was academics first, God second, and we were looking for God first, academics second. If you want your child in a immaculate education program and a Christian program, Horizon is the school. It's different. You can tell it's different. You walk in the school. There's something special going on at Horizon. I think that's really apparent. It's a small school, but they do big things. We couldn't be more satisfied and more happy with Horizon Christian School. You want a sports degree that is beyond the game? A degree that immerses you from day one and launches you into the business side of sports. With a sports management major from IUPUI's School of Health and Human Sciences, you'll have insider access to sports professionals and will learn from faculty with years of teaching and industry experience. There isn't a better city than Indianapolis to get the experience you need to launch your sport industry career. Piper Group Warehouse has a strong commitment to their clients as their logistics provider. If you would like to discover how you can improve your service levels while lowering your overall cost, Piper Logistics Group can help. Call Greg Piper today at 317-396-3916. Piper Logistics Group. I'm Keith Myers, Vice President of Indiana SRN. Thanks for joining us. Do you know Indiana SRN broadcasts 350 games a year? All sorts of sports. Yeah, we do. Hard to believe, isn't it? Indiana SRN loves to put student athletes first on our website. If you're a business out there, we probably could help you too. Contact us at coach at indianasrn.org. Grandma from out of state thanks you. Mom and dad who can't get to the game thanks you as well. In fact, our athletes watch the games over and over again. Our military has enjoyed the games as well. So sit back and enjoy the game. It's Indiana SRN. This broadcast is copyrighted by Indiana SRN and the Indiana High School Athletic Association for the private use of our audience. The use of pictures, video, and audio without the express written permission of Indiana SRN and the IHSAA is prohibited. And because John and myself, we always like to remind people we have the NIL contract going as well, so don't use our likeness or you'll be in big, big trouble. You're going to be in trouble. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> By the way, Tam's Sweet and Savory Cafe is a new spot for breakfast. They're open for lunch as well, one Wednesday through Sunday. Try their classic breakfast and their sweet baked goods. They're located in Lawrence. Coach recommends the Sloppy Joes with extra pickles as a great lunch. Check out Tam's at 6427 Oaklandon Road. If you need carryout information, give them a call at 317 760 1640. If you missed the Indiana SRN boys basketball poll, which we're down to our last couple of weeks, in 4A, Ben Davis, number one, followed by Penn, 
Center Grove, Brownsburg, and Jennings County, which you're familiar with. Yes. And then in 3A, Northwood, number one. Then it's North Davies, West Noble, Norwell, and Oak Hill. In 2A, Linton Stockton, followed by Fort Wayne Blackhawk, University, Carol of Flora, and Gary 21st Century. And in single A, it's Bloomfield, Orleans, Fountain Central, Morgan Township, and Lagodi. By the way, that is not a scientific poll, so don't call and complain to me if your team's not on there. So complain to coach. And that, see, it takes us off the, you know. Gets us off the hook. Yes, it that's does. right. Yes. That's all that matters <laughs> as long as we're off the hook. So hey, your thoughts on the first half of this one, John. It was a certainly a game that I mean, Horizon Christian probably is lucky to be where they're at because they did turn the ball over 14 times. That's almost their full game average. Yeah, they're at 16 a game is their average at 14 turnovers. I've been looking at the stats here at halftime. Nine field goals for Horizon Christian, 17 field goals for Park Tudor. A lot of that can be attributed to the turnovers and the extra possessions that you've been given Park Tudor. So that's a big key and big uphill climb for Horizon Christian, but they have the offense too. We'll see what they can. This is going to be a very important first four-minute segment here in this third quarter to see if Horizon get back in this game. And as we mentioned earlier, no Brody Matthews. Uh, he has not played in this one, a guy that's averaging – 12 and a half points and nearly seven rebounds per game. He's a 50% shooter. So we don't know. Maybe they're just holding him out. Uh, didn't want to maybe risk an injury uh, before tournament time, which certainly could be the case, but he is not playing tonight. Uh, leading the way for Horizon Christian, Trey Page unofficially with 12, seven by Israel Miles, six by Landon Loring, and Quinn Yoder with two in the first half. And a bevy of scores for Park Tudor. Hudson Horvath with 11. Cayman Washington with 9. Jermaine Coleman with 9. Ben Wilkerson with 8. Ruffin had 5. 2 by Bostic. 2 by DeFrance. And K.J. Mark with 2 points rounding out their 48. We always say those numbers are unofficial. And we, we kind of joke about it off the air. But in case one of maybe your son is scoring... I don't know, 15 a game, and we only have them for 13, and you get upset about it, we say it's unofficial. So you, <laughs> you notice how we pass the buck on to everybody else? <laughs> that's, it's a great thing to do. Yes. That's, By the way, Israel Miles is going to start here in the second half and turns it over. Back the other way and missing the layup. I'll tell you what, how did you miss that one? An easy bunny by Washington, and he missed it. Yeah, I don't know if the ball slipped when he was going up for the layup there, but that's not a shot you see him miss very often. Here's a three the other way. Good, and again, it'll be Trey Page. He has 15. Boy, I'm liking this Trey Page, and only an eighth grader. That's, it's worth it keeps noting on that. You know, when you when you see Park Tudor miss a shot like that, because they missed about three of those tonight. One of those was an air ball we saw earlier. But they've had two layups as Coleman, a fadeaway shot, not probably the shot they're looking for. But if you're going to play really good basketball teams, you can't do that. No, not at all. Yeah, and coming in sectional time especially, yeah, that's going to be a – yeah, that's not a shot you can afford to miss if you're Park Tudor. That time Landon Loring able to save it from going out of bounds and then threw it off the leg of Horvath. So it will be Lions basketball. Miles with seven on the drive, and then he turns it over. A couple turnovers here in the third quarter for Miles. And, and guess what? It's a gi- it, it, it right is back. It Christmas season or what? <laughs> we have uh, decided that tonight. Valentine's Day gift giving. Yes. There you That's go. What yes. <laughs> I would imagine at uh, FedEx you guys have been flying some flowers around and stuff, right? I saw a few of those today, yeah. as a matter of Yes, actually, I must. <laughs> We're giving uh, FedEx a little plug here tonight because that's what John does. You do it well, too, I hear, well, I by pre- the way. Well, I appreciate that. Yes. Thank you, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Running long and another turnover. Wilkerson gets the takeaway. That plane that flew right over your house today, it was full of flowers. That's was what it? it? Yes. Yeah, that was <laughs> Uh, we have, by the way, what did I do with it? Our trivia question for the night, but I can't find There we go. Who is this brought to you by again? Aspen Creek Grill. Sorry. I'm an old man. I'm confused. Our Aspen Creek Grill trivia question of the night, and you will receive a gift certificate to Aspen Creek Grill. Yeah, you get in our chance to get into a raffle 
to win a gift certificate. Got a foul call. Yeah, Washington, I believe, called for that foul. Number two. In what year was the NBA founded as the Basketball Association of America? Tweet your answers at Indiana SRN. And again, you'll be in that raffle. Here's a long-range three off the mark. But again, in what year was the NBA founded as the Basketball Association of America? Uh, one hint, there's a jumper good by Ruffin. It was a long time ago. Does that help at all? Or... All right. We try to be as helpful as we can. As you see, Landon Loring gets fouled out front. I think that's going to be Washington again. He just picked up number three. Now, I know he's kind of complaining about that call, but you know what? You're reaching, and that's going to be a foul every time. It's going to be a foul. In, yeah. And yeah, look at this. Here's that. Yeah, he with the reach there. You reach in with the arm. It's a foul every time. I have another whistle, and I believe, I'm not sure what this will be. They were pointing at, but well, we Tec got a technical. Ethan May is going to shoot it. I believe they may have reached over the line. Oh. And to strip the ball out of the hands of Ethan May. So here is Page at the line. That is what we call a no-no in basketball. I have a college basketball question for you. Uh oh. Who is the only school that has won a national collegiate men's basketball championship where the school is not located in the 50 United States? Oh, boy. <laughs> I didn't know there was one. That's interesting. This must have been a long time ago, too, right? 80s. In the 80s. Yes. Wow. They're, they're, so they're, are they a school in the United States? They're not a school located in the 50 United States. Hmm. But they won an NCAA championship? But they won an NCAA championship. And that was, oh, they stepped on the line. That'll be a turnover. Is this Division One, mm -hmm. Really? All right, tell me who. Georgetown is in Washington, D.C. Oh, very good. Yes, very tricky question. Good job. Look at John pulling that one out. 50-31. And unfortunately, I don't think you're going to see Georgetown win another one anytime no, soon. No, yeah, it's going to be a while. <laughs> Got a jump ball in the backcourt. It was rebounded originally by Quinn Yoder. Yeah, they may see uh, Patrick Ewing get candy here pretty soon. Yeah. I know you like to go with your alma mater, but, yeah, it's been a tough go over there at Georgetown. Yeah, there's never a guarantee that your alma mater can. Uh, we got an offensive foul, I think, away from the basketball on Ruffin. So Ruffin picks up that foul. That's a turnover again for Park Tudor. Just because you're an alma mater, we got a full timeout, doesn't mean you can win basketball games. Park Tudor leads at 50-31. We encourage you to subscribe to our YouTube channel, Indiana SRN. Hit the bell to get notifications for upcoming games and more. Watch as many games as you want, as many times as you want. At one point in my life, alcohol ruled supreme. It was not impossible for me to wake up just as drunk as before I went to sleep. And I used the term go to sleep loosely. I think on most nights it wasn't falling asleep, it was just passing out. There was no way I was getting out of it with my own willpower. So I decided to give Wheeler a try. And since my graduation from Wheeler's program, alcohol has not had any kind of hold on me whatsoever. Tonight's game brought to you in part by Pat Cherry Insurance Agency. Contact his team for all your insurance needs, whether it's family, car, business, or home. They're an insurance company to serve you. Contact them today at 317-894-7000. By the way, if you're watching that Duke-Notre Dame game, it's down to six. Notre Dame coming back. Yeah, Mike Bray calling it a career after this year at Notre Dame. Not going out with the season he had hoped for, but... <laughs> you know, you still have that conference tournament at the end. You can always kind of, in many ways, redeem yourself. Yep. When it's a conference tournament, everybody's 0-0 again. Yes. Yep. Israel Miles inbounding as Washington guarding him there, and you see the Panthers 
picking up full court once again. And Horizon, I'll tell you what, they're hanging in there, though. They're down by 19, but they're keeping Park Tudor within striking distance. Turnaround shot missed by Ethan May, and they'll keep it. Nice save there by Yoder to keep the possession alive. Stripped, ball loose, and we have a turnover and a foul call against Landon Loring. That is now, for me, 19 turnovers. That's what I have, yeah. So they have surpassed their season average as Braden Matthews will check back in and Ethan May will sit down. May, by the way, has scored. He averages nine and a half. And he's even a 49% shooter, but hasn't had much. Hasn't had chance. a whole lot of shot attempts tonight either no. with that Park Tudor defense. Certainly has not. Hudson Horvath got up to a fast start. He has not done much lately offensively. Double pump, missing it is Wilkerson. Got it back. Ball fires out of bounds, and it'll go over to the Lions. Seeing Park Tudor force up a lot of shots here in this third quarter. Yeah, they've um, they have not. I mean, I thought that opening quarter they had 28 points. I thought they were going to really turn it on, but they only have 50 right now. Yeah, 22 since that point, yeah. Here come the Lions back the other way. Lead pass, Loring stops, pops, misses, tip up, no, and then knocked out of bounds. Good effort as Braden Matthews unable to keep it in play. You're going to say Park Tudor knocked that ball out of bounds. Wow, yeah. there's a big break. <laughs> Interesting. K.J. Mark back in, also back in. For Park Tudor, Cal Bostic, and they turn it over again. There's number 20. Here's Coleman, and they'll call that foul, I believe, on the floor, but we'll wait and see if they'll give him two here. Looks like he's heading to the line for two. This guy right here has been busy tonight. Yes, he has. He... Here's that drive and the foul. Loring picked up his third foul as well on that. That official must be getting paid by the call tonight because we see him come to the scorer's table a lot. Lead now at 20. Coleman in double figures with 10. Missed the second one. The Lions basketball. They've kind of hold, held Coleman in check here ever since his first quarter. He's had a quiet 11 points here or 10 points here tonight, and there's no turnover, though. Wow. <laughs> Coleman, look out. Here he comes, and they're going to wave it off. Offensive foul. I think they got Horvath down the floor. Running the big time screen, and you, you can't do that. Yeah, Ruffin going to get his second foul there for Park Tudor. Here it is. And there's the, you see the push right there by Ruffin. Or I'm sorry, by, um, Horvath, excuse me, Horvath, yeah. yeah. Yeah, just run alongside him. You can't yeah. lean into him. And he was throwing that lead block. He thought he was in the Super Bowl. Yes. Here's Miles down the lane. Nice feed to Yoder, then blocked by Coleman. And here come the Panthers. Nice save and a layup at the other end. Good. That'll be Washington. That was a great play by K.J. Mark on the near sideline to keep it from going out of bounds. Yeah, a great defensive play there. Keep that possession and get the easy layup there. Lions basketball. Here's Page. I'll tell you what, that's almost illegal. Yes. He has a great stroke, Page. 20 points for the eighth grader. Wow. <laughs> that was way downtown. Park Tudor back the other way. Shot's going to be missed by Washington, and the rebound pulled down by Braden Matthews. Tell you what, and again, Page is only an eighth grader. Yeah. I, that's just, I mean, he is strong to get a shot up like that. This is Loring. Now, he'll shoot it from there. They're looking down low to Matthews. They've got Page out there again, unguarded, but they missed him. Here's Loring. Matthews from about 17 missed it, and the rebound by Coleman. Well, Paige, all he needs to do now is back up about five feet. <laughs> here is Coleman, missed it. Mm. You miss a few of those here in this third quarter. Yeah. Here's Miles. Ball goes out of bounds, turnover again. They, you know, they, if they're not careful, they're going to end up with more turnovers than points. Yeah. I mean, right now they're 22. That is a boatload of turnovers. You know, this is a nice gym. I know it's relatively brand new. I've had a chance to officiate in there and just so bright. Um, everything that is around it, 
It's just a, a great facility to play basketball. You can shoot in this gym because you can see everything, believe me. Park Tudor's campus in general is just gorgeous. It They're is. Great football field, great basketball, yeah. <laughs> Good look here, and that's going to be a travel. That's an easy call against Cal Bostic. Well, Park Tudor, I know that they're going to win this game tonight. I don't think there's much danger of losing it, but they've got some work to do before they get to the tournament. they got a couple tough teams in their sectional 43 university who they just play. They could see them again in sectional. Yeah, that, that's a good university team. Drive and reverse layup, no good by Matthews. Here we go the other way. This is Horvath on the drive. No, and he kind of forced up that shot. Lead pass, two on one break back the other way. Missing the layup at the other end is Yoder. And unfortunately for Horizon Christian, when you're trying to come back, those are shots you got to make. Nice drive. This time Bostic says, I'll take it in strong. And he gets his second, or actually his first bucket of the ball game. He now has four. Lead back to 21 thing I look for at the end of the year is Yoder drives, has it stripped. Ball loose, picked up by Bostic, and he nearly threw it away. But what I look at at the end of the year is a drive good. That'll be K.J. Mark. Is I'm this far at the end of the year. You shouldn't see some of the missed shots we've seen mm -hmm. tonight. You shouldn't see the turnovers that you're seeing this far into the season if you're Horizon Christian. Those things would concern me. Yeah, definitely. Early on the season, you know, you can expect early season. You had a nice three there. Troy, or Trey Page <laughs> again. I've got unofficially, I've got him seven for ten from three-point range. Yes. <laughs> I just heard somebody in the crowd say, he's just an eight, in eighth grade. <laughs> yes, he is. Yes, he is. <laughs> you know, just think in eighth grade, and he, they list him at 5'11". Now, he could be. I think he might be a little shorter than that, but just think he's going to get bigger and stronger, and he's got four more years <laughs> to do it. Shot's going to be missed the other way. Ball goes into the backcourt. That'll be run down by Drew DeFrance. See if they'll just play for one right here. France and the pass inside basket is good and Bostic will go to the line yeah great feed to Bostic there getting the and one and I believe Page got that I believe so if it is that's Page's second and at the line Cal Bostic now by the way he's only a sophomore and he's about Six 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 seven in that range. He missed the free throw, so they got a chance to build around his size. Of course, you have Horvath, only a sophomore as well. Six seconds remaining. Ball loose on the floor, picked up by Page, and then he turns it over. Three on two break at the buzzer. No, but a turnover finishes things out for Horizon Christian. We head to the fourth. Park Tudor leads it by 22. Calling officials cheaters or corrupt, it's not a game. Insulting referees, it's not a game. Threatening officials, it's not a game. Berating young umpires, learning the ropes, it's not a game. It's violent language in the stands, it's not a game. Verbal abuse from the sideline, it's not a game. Screaming at a referee in the parking lot, it's not a game. Tonight's game brought to you in part by Jack's Donuts. Jack's has great donuts made and served fresh every day, plus great tasting coffee. Stop by Jack's Donuts at 9105 East 56th Street or at Jack's in your neighborhood. Jack's Donuts, the official donut of Indiana, SRN. You know, I was reading something today that if you drink black coffee, 
there's like a list of 25 things that you will be better at. Your memory gets better. Your ever energy's better. I mean, you can do all. I, I never knew that about. Since coffee. I'm not a coffee drinker, can I use that as an excuse then? For yes. Be- okay. Yeah, good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you need to get that coffee in you. <laughs> Here is Yoder for three. No. The rebound by the Lions in the ball game is another three's on the way. Good from the top. And looked like that was number 20. So we got a couple of changes here now for Horizon Christian. We'll try to figure out who number 20 is before we dash out of here. But he gets his first points of the night. Offensive rebound. Put back good at the other end by Keelan Smith. Yeah, staying with it there for Smith. Grabbing the miss and getting the easy put back. Let's see who else is coming to the lineup now for Horizon Christian. At the end of the ball game, I do see number 21. That is Devin Hamilton. Nice drive. Basket good by Israel Miles. He now has nine. That's the first player other than Page that has scored for Horizon in the second half. That's incredible. <laughs> Good look at Jonathan Harris, who has checked in now for Park Tudor. K.J. Mark in the backcourt as well. By the way, Coleman is out, I think, for the first time tonight. At least he hasn't been out very often. Drive down the lane. Nice shot over the front of the rim by Smith. Yeah, Smith getting the nice drive inside back-to-back layups there for Smith. Well, Horizon Christian, if they can get more offensive production other than Page, And again, if, if Brody Matthews does come back, that'll certainly help. That shot's on the way and missed as Hamilton couldn't get it to go. I mean, I don't know what their tournament field looks like, but they, they should be all right. Yeah. <laughs> There's another turnover. And a blocked shot. Yoder tried to pick it up. It goes out of bounds, and it's going to go back over to Panthers. Here is that block at the other end for Park Tudor. It's Smith again getting back on the defensive end. Well, you love that. You know, if things don't go right at one end, doesn't mean you can't hustle back and still play defense. And that was a nice block by Keelan Smith. Park Tudor looking for win number 13. Horizon Christian, they lose this one tonight, 14 and 11. The drive and Smith will go to the line. Smith, by the way, just a freshman. So they've got a couple of guys even when Jermaine Coleman leaves. They've got a couple of guys that can certainly pick up the slack. How could the other game that we're broadcasting already be over and those guys are leaving? Doesn't seem quite fair, does it? Smith out the line, able to hit the first free throw. Second free throw is good. Now Smith has been the offense for Park Tudor here in this fourth quarter. Yes, he has. <laughs> K.J. Mark will come out. Well, Israel Miles has played this Second half with those 3,000 still in the ball game, so he's done his job. This is Loring. Trapped in the corner, and they're going to be a foul call near side on Smith. That'll be his third. I'm looking at the sectional 43 field for Park Tudor right now, and like I said, they got university, and you know with that nine-point loss they had to university, you know Park Tudor is really wanting to get another stab at them in the yeah. sectionals. <laughs> yeah, I would believe so. <laughs> Well, I thought, again, they were leading 28-11 after one, and you're thinking at that time, boy, they're really going to put this thing away early, but, you know, offensively, they just have not been the same since then. Here's a three on the way, missed, falls into the hands of DeFrance, and he tries to get it ahead to Bostic, and they turn it over. That's number, what, nine on them? Yes. Seven in the second half. They only had two at halftime. <laughs> So we have seen 23 on one side. My math is correct. That's 32 total turnovers. That's a lot. That's a lot of turnovers, yeah. <laughs> 32 wasted possessions, basically. Exactly. If you want to, yeah. How about that three by Hamilton? 
a team, as we said, that coming in was only shooting 26%, but not tonight. See, I told you it was a good shooting, Jim. That's exactly, yes. Mm. <laughs> so back to a 20-point lead here for the Panthers. Another foul call, and they're going to call that one on the floor. I, uh, I've got Horizon unofficially, of course, 10 for 17 from three. I have them. Wow. <laughs> Yeah, that, you now put that in perspective. You think you've shot 26% all year, and tonight you're 10 to 17. Yeah. You're 60%, crazy. yeah. Hey, nice shot there by Jonathan Harris off the inbound. He gets his first two. There's another turnover. Well, here is Park Tudor again with the basketball after that 24th turnover. Anything Horizon Christian, yes, they're down 22 points, but they've done this without their leading score. They have hung in there against a very good Park Tudor team without their leading score tonight. Yeah, <laughs> after that, and that's tough psychologically, too. Nice runner there by DeFranz. And we've got a 30-second timeout. Hey, if you like what you see, let us know. Email us at coach at indianasrn.org. If you'd like to help us get more student-athletes on the air, go to the website, indianasrn.org, and hit the Donate button on the screen. Indiana SRN, where you're always in the game. You see the Lions right there. And, again, this is a, a group that's – Got some juniors and seniors, but they also have, as we said, with Trey Page, a eighth grader, and you have Loring, a freshman. Yeah, very young team, only two seniors on the roster for Horizon Christian. So, yeah. yeah. Well, you know what, and I don't know how this all works, but you don't think if people see Trey Page, only an eighth grader, that you might think, hey, you know, we have an opening at our high school. <laughs> yes. <laughs> we could use a three-point shooter. I don't know if he's done for the night or is he in the ball game? Now he is not he's in not. the game right now, but he had a heck of a night so far. I have him unofficially for 23, am I right? I have 20, but I. Well, either way. But you still. Yeah, I am for 23, but again, you, you could be right. Let's give him 23. That way we all feel better. That sounds good to me. <laughs> That's like getting that tax. I'm sorry, I do have 23. Oh, yes. thank you. Yeah. That's like getting that tax return. You thought you were getting this, but you get more. But you're getting more. Yeah, that's what we're, we're going to – well, we, we'll be naming our player of the game coming up when this one is over. I don't know that – you know, again, other than him, not to spoil the fun, but he's the one that kind of stood out amongst everybody. Here's a shot on the way, three-pointer missed as we've got some changes here for Park Tudor and another foul as Hayden Souza will go to the line. So Souza has checked in the ball game. Also coming in is Michael Rodriguez. Rodriguez is a 6'1 junior. He wears number 23, so Park Tudor as uh, well, they started emptying their bench as also Drew Miller, number 14, is checked in. And Souza back in for number two. But again, when this one is over, the Piper Logistics player of the game. Here's a three on the way, and another one as Page is checked back into the lineup. He now has 26. Boy, he can stroke it. Wow, he's got some kind of touch. Yes, he does. Nice pass inside, able to finish it the other end. That'll be Sean Gregg. Gregg wears number 15. He is checked in as well. Now the deep bench, chance for Coach Adams to get some guys that aren't in the game very often. Some nice little playing time here. That shot will be missed. And I believe we might have just a quick sub on both teams. As you see, Austin Willis, a 6'6 junior, checking in. And number 32 on the other side. Do we have a 32? I don't think we have a 32. 
We call those guys Clint Eastwood. Hey. The unknown <laughs> man. I'm going to check here real quick and see if we can find them on our roster. Okay, let me check here for you. I think I might be able to, if I can get it to come up, we'll squeeze these out. Uh, 32 is Noah Richards, a six-foot senior. There's a three on the way short. Also in for Park Tudor is Owen Stotts. He's a freshman. There's Rodriguez with a rebound. Now look at Rodriguez running the floor. Shot fake, pull up jumper, good. And the bucket by Owen Stotts. That's a great fake there by Stotts, getting the field goal there. Always feels good to get some varsity points. See if we can. By the way, number 20 is Lawrence Long, the sophomore. Here's that play at the other end there, getting a nice fake and getting the two points. And Page has heading to the line with a chance to get to 28. Well, what a night. I still don't believe he's in eighth grade. We should check his driver's license. Yes, check to see if he's, yes. <laughs> <laughs> So again, we're gonna give uh, Lawrence Long credit, number 20, who we missed earlier. He missed a free throw. Uh oh he was too close. Yes, <laughs> yeah, you need to back <laughs> up. Here's Rodriguez, shot fake, drives in the lane, short. Picking up the loose basketball, but missing that one point blank range was Willis. Nice save. Yep, there's a three <laughs> good from the corner by Drew Miller. Nice save to keep that possession alive and getting the three for Miller there. There you go, shoot it another time. Oh, I tell you what, they should have stopped while they were ahead. Yeah, he missed the free throw and now he's thinking about it. Under a minute remaining. There's a shot the other way and again. That Greg, I believe, on that. 15, Sean Gregg. Yeah, so Sean Gregg gets two back the other way. Oh, that's a slip right there. <laughs> that's a tough one there because I think Drew Miller was thinking, you know what, this could be easy. In football, that would be called bitten by the turf monster. In yeah. basketball, that would be the floor <laughs> monster. That got him. <laughs> uh. See if they'll get Paige one more shot here to get to 30. Well, he, well, they won on that one. They got 25 turnovers, though. See if Park Tudor will just run the clock out right here and finish it out. It looks like that will be the case. So Park Tudor, after opening up with 28 points in the opening quarter, they finished tonight with 81, and they got just about everybody in the ball game here at the end, and they win it 81 49 and they pick up their 13th win of the season horizon will fall to 14 and 11 time to name the piper logistics player of the game and i think that no matter what the way that the eighth grader trey page played tonight 27 points eight three-pointers made what a night for that young man. Yeah, what a night for Trey Page. Trying to keep Horizon in this game. But, yeah, what a performance by Trey Page here tonight against Park Tudor. So that's going to do it. And, again, Park Tudor picking up their 13th win. Jermaine Coleman finished with 10 points tonight. They got off to a good start. Hudson Horvath had 11 points. And I think they ended up with what? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 different players, if I'm not mistaken, got into the scoring column tonight for Park Tudor. But that's going to do it for us. Park Tudor with a victory tonight, 81-49. This has been High School Basketball on Indiana SRN.